Time Tech HR is an all-in-one mobile app designed to streamline your HR management like time attendance, leave, claim, and payroll. To start using the Time Tech HR, you can download it from Google Play Store for Android users, Apple App Store for iOS users, or Huawei App Gallery for Huawei mobile device users. After installation, log in using your registered email and password as the login credentials. You can switch between each Time Tech module by clicking on their respective logos. To perform mobile clocking, first, ensure that you are on the clocking page within the Time Tech Attendance module. Then, select the appropriate clocking type and tap on the GPS clocking button. If you need to use a different clocking method, swipe left or right to find the desired method and tap on the clocking button to clock in or out. The options include GPS clocking, Wi-Fi clocking, NFC, or beacon clocking. Depending on what your company uses, make sure you see the success message after tapping the clocking button. If necessary, you can insert clocking remarks by tapping on the input clocking remark field. Select the recipient to notify, such as your superior, and provide relevant details before submitting the clocking remarks. Upon submission, you will be directed to the dashboard page. Here, you can view your attendance summary, which is reset monthly. You may tap on the yellow bubble icon to view your attendance detail by selecting the viewing date range. You can also view your clocking history by tapping the yellow bubble icon at the bottom of the dashboard. Tapping on the square grids button on the right will take you to the features page. To view your attendance data, simply click on the attendance option. If you want to receive clock-in notifications as reminders to clock in on time, you can set your own monitoring preferences. Set the monitoring clock-in time, and you will receive a reminder if no clock-in has been made until that time. To receive notifications for any tardiness activity from the previous day's attendance, you can select the relevant categories, such as tardiness, short hours, absent, early hour, extended break, and late in. A summary of any tardiness activity will be sent to your app the next day. Through Time Tech HR, you can request overtime, edit attendance, and outstation, provided that the necessary approval rules have been set by your system administrator. To submit an overtime request, select the Overtime option and tap on the Add button located at the top right corner of the screen. Then, select the date and the start and end times of the overtime period. Next, set the Apply Overtime for, setting to the appropriate date and select the shift you worked. You can also insert any necessary remarks or attachments. Finally, submit your overtime request. If the edit attendance approval rules have been set, you can request to amend your previous attendance records through Time Tech HR. For instance, you can add a clock in time for a date on which you forgot to clock in. To submit an edit attendance request, go to My Request, Edit Attendance, and tap on the Add button. Select the relevant date and make the necessary changes to the allowable data fields. Insert a remark explaining the reason for the changes and then hit the Send button to submit the request. If the request is approved by the approver, your attendance data will be updated accordingly. However, if the approver rejects the request, your attendance data will remain unchanged. You can go to the roster module to view the schedule that has been assigned to you. You can also use this module to view a list of users who are currently off-duty. Using Time Tech HR, you can generate three types of reports, electronic time card, tardiness report, and mobile location tracking report. Here's how you can generate a report, choose the type of report you want to generate. You can select the suggested date range, or choose a custom start and end date. Click on the next button, and wait for a while for the report to be generated. Once the report is generated, you can open it to view and save it to your mobile device. As an approver, you can access the approval page in Time Tech HR to view the applications submitted by your subordinates. You can filter the applications based on their status, such as expired, approved, pending, cancelled, or withdrawn. You can also filter by the request type, such as overtime, edit attendance, out of area, and outstation. To view the details of an application, simply tap on it. 
For pending applications, you can respond by either approving or rejecting the request. As a system admin, you are able to view the workforce overview analysis from the app. Simply go to Features, Analysis, and finally Workforce. The workforce chart is divided into color-coded segments, and the indicator for each category is shown below. You can tap on the colored segment on the chart or tap on the category indicator below to show the list of users in each category. If your system role has the supervisor clocking option enabled, you will have the ability to clock in on behalf of your subordinates. For instance, if one of your staff members is unable to perform mobile clocking on their own, they can report for duty to you, and you can help to clock in on their behalf. To do this, simply go to Supervisor Clocking, search for the staff member's name, and tap on the clock button. That's how you get started using Time Tech HR. Thank you so much for watching.